Bose 9161. Uh, Sorry, I almost said 901. Bose 161 free, uh, frequency sweep uh, for impedance at 100 hertz. We have 6.743 ohms. At 120, we are at 5.48, 400, 8.0, 1 kHz, 10.954. Four K eight point three four ten K we are at seven point nine. Okay, so it should be a pretty easy surround for any uh, receiver to drive. So let me go ahead and measure the other speaker just to make sure they're matching. Okay, we are back. Uh, so uh, this is the second speaker. Six point six seven eight hundred. Five point four one four at one twenty. Seven point nine nine at four hundred. At 1 kilohertz, uh, we are at 10.84. 4 kilohertz, we are 8.24. At 10 kilohertz, we are 7.94. These both are dead on speakers, so they match very well and then they work. So, this is how I measure if the speakers, you know, they're working or not. That's how I was able to get. Uh, figure out one of these big guys here the TL speakers had a mid that was not playing so uh, the impedances are off you know something is not right inside uh, by sweeping at all these frequencies okay uh -oh. I played this uh, speakers left and right uh, apparently you're supposed to put the left one on left and right one on right so I mean they're surrounds you know they basically don't have any base so so they probably go from like 100 hertz above so keep that in mind but beyond that there should be plenty uh, and then they have two drivers like one here and one here and these are like the Bose's favorite paper cone drivers that they use in pretty much every product They'll get the job done. Uh, nothing to worry about. It's just, it's just for if you if you just want to use it as a uh, surround and not a big deal. Um, you can even use it as a stereo if you um, can get a subwoofer or something like that. Um, and these are indestructible. Like the Bose drivers are very well made. Um, so. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.